Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the reading for information on self-pip reading, which is the most difficult part for majority of people. Let's see what do we have here. Just before I get started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also, comment below this way. I'll be able to come up with more such valuable videos in the future for you. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Reading for information. All right, then. Okay, let me share the screen. So always remember while you read what you read, because otherwise you tend to give the wrong information. Remember what you read. Reading for information, directions. Read the following information, passage. Paragraph A. Blockchain is a technology that is taking over the old ways of how money was managed. Blockchain is used mainly for cryptocurrency where the nodes of computer networks record transactions and keep an online log of all transactions that are taking place between different people. This is managed very accurately in order to create transparency and a complete record of every single transaction that has taken place. A blockchain compiles pieces of information in what is known as a block. However, due to the storage capacities, it has to be combined with other blocks within the same chain of transactions, which leads the blocks to form a chain and hence the name blockchain. So they're talking about the name blockchain. Paragraph B. The aspect of decentralization makes a lot of people fond of blockchain technology. In a sense, with different nodes of computers storing information. So they are talking about different computers are storing the information, the complete sequence of transactions of, let's say a company or an individual or someone's payment history is all recorded in multiple locations by multiple computers worldwide. Remember this. This has the benefit of giving the user access to information in case their own hard drive fails or date, their data is lost. The information will still be stored on the blockchain network that can be retrieved at any time. So the data can be retrieved. Moreover, in case someone tries to commit fraud and changes one transaction, it does not derail the other sequence of transactions in blockchain. That means if there is a faulty data or a discrepancy, the other nodes will pinpoint that and make it easily detectable so people can be caught. So be serious. See, although the records stored in most blockchains are completely encrypted, they can be decrypted by the owner. This has the benefit of preventing fraud. In the past and predictably, in the near future, there have been and there will be frauds and scams. By allowing transparency in the blockchain, the scammer can easily be detected and caught by authorities, which has happened in the past. Any amount of crypto that is spent by the scammer can easily be detected and pinpointed as to where it was found, who spent it and how much was spent. So easily can be detected whoever fraudulently logs into your account can be detected from anywhere. So paragraph D. When talking about blockchain technology versus banks, there are a lot of differences to keep in mind. Although the fees for both are competitive, the speed of transactions for blockchain far outweigh the value that a bank would provide in the same area. Moreover, while banks have can have control over any money and see your accounts. If the government wants to take action against you, it is virtually impossible to do that in the blockchain networks. Also, identification is needed for banks, not in the case of blockchain. Finally, the hours are 24 seven when it comes to blockchain. When it comes to uh, the banks, it is limited, is what they are saying, limited business hours of banks. So there is also one more, which is E, that means not given. So let's get on with the questions. Decide which paragraph A to D matches with the following statement. Insert E if it is not given. Question number one. The person who spends a certain amount of money can be found. A. Whether it is in B. 
C, D, or E. We just saw somewhere in the C paragraph, although the records stored in most blockchains are completely encrypted, they can be decrypted by the owner. This has the benefit of preventing fraud in the past and predictably in the near future there have been and there will be fraud. So by allowing transparency in the blockchain, the scammer can easily be detected and caught by the authorities, which has happened in the past. Any amount of crypto that is spent, so that is the question. The scammer can easily be detected and pinpointed to where it was found, who spent it and how much they spent. So the person spends a certain amount of money can be found as in C. Okay, viewers, so question number two. A name for the concept is formulated. Is it in A? Is it in B? C, D, or is it not given? I saw somewhere in the paragraph A that it was talking about the name because I remember saying that. Um, okay, where is it? Okay, blockchain is a new technology that is taking over the old ways of how money was managed. Blockchain is used mainly, okay, this is managed very accurately in the order to create transparency and complete record of high, every single transaction that has taken place. Okay, last sentence, a blockchain compiles pieces of information in what is known as a block. However, due to the storage capacity, it has to be combined with other blocks within the same chain of transaction, which leads to the blocks to form a chain and hence the name blockchain. So the name is given here, it was formulated. So the answer is A for question number two. Question number three, blockchain leaves no digital footprint due to no identification. We saw from the paragraph, it said if from anywhere they can find out the digital footprint, who logged in, when they logged in, how much of money they transacted, everything can be found. So it should be E because it is not given. Okay, government control. Question number four, is it in A? So is it in B? Is it in C, D or E? I remember looking at the paragraph and reading when I read, when talking about blockchain technology in the D paragraph versus banks, there are a lot of differences to keep in mind. Although the fees for both are com competitive, the speed of transactions for blockchain far outweighs the value that a bank would provide in the same area. Moreover, while banks can have control over the money and see your accounts if the government wants to take action against you. So that is where it is mentioned about the government. So. For question number four, it is D. D is the right answer. All right. Question number five. Impossible for governments to take action against you if you use blockchain. We already saw that it is possible by the government to take action. So it is not given. So E is the right answer. Question number six. Another component is needed due to constraints. What component is needed due to constraints? We'll have to see whether it is in A, whether it is in B, C, D or E. Let's jump to paragraph A. When I do not remember, I just do that. Blockchain is a new technology that is taking over the old ways of how money is being managed. So what are they saying in question number? Another component is needed to needed due to constraints. Another component. Okay. What is the other component? We'll have to see. Blockchain is used mainly for cryptocurrency where the nodes of computer networks record transactions and keep an online log of all the transactions that are taking place between different people. This is managed very accurately in order to create transparency and complete record of every single transaction that has taken place. So the blockchain compiles pieces of information in what is known as the block, however, due to the storage capacity. So they are talking about another component is log of all transaction is kept. So it is compiled and pieces of information is what is known as the block. So the answer is in A viewers. So which is the another component. Another component is needed due to constraints. So for question number six, the answer is A. 
Question number seven protects the hard drive. So is it in A paragraph or is it in B, C, D or E? Does it protect the hard drive? Somewhere I read that even if your hard drive um, loses the data, fails or the data is lost, it's in B. The information will still be stored on the blockchain network that can be retrieved at any time. So it is not given viewers. So for question number seven, even though if the hard drive is not protected, the cat data can be retrieved. So you don't have to worry. It's not given. So even the hard drives can be, um, can fail sometimes. So, so uh, for the question number seven, it was E, not given. Question number eight, several devices are used to execute the workings of blockchain. I hope you understand the reading because that is very, very important. If you don't understand, then it will become really difficult on the self reading, especially for the subsection three of the reading, which is reading for information. Several devices are used to execute the workings of blockchain. Okay, so we'll have to see where it is, several devices. So I think I saw it in A. Blockchain is used mainly for cryptocurrency to manage accurately in order to create and complete record of every single transaction a blockchain compiles. Um, pieces of information, was it in A or was it in B? Okay, so it's recorded in multiple locations by multiple computers worldwide. So I'm sorry for question number eight, several devices are used to execute the working of blockchain as in. Okay, so it's in A, blockchain is used mainly for cryptocurrency where the nodes of computers net uh, computer networks record transaction keep an online log of all transactions that are taking place between different people this is managed very accurately in order to create transparency and complete record of every single transaction that has taken place a blockchain compiles pieces of information in what is known as the block okay so it is an a i'm so sorry about it sometimes i even do the mistake but i try to correct it so question number eight the answer is in A viewers. So for question number eight, the answer is A. Because when I read a global application and that was in uh, paragraph B, I got mixed up and then I thought I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, so a global application is in B paragraph viewers. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the other side. This is Sridhar signing off from Selpip Academy. Thanks for watching.